Oh my Greg here, Kiwi Wanderers, and uh, this week I'd like to tell you about our latest improvement that we've made to Navarac, our Jaco Silver Line. And it's how we fill with water. Right, if you've just joined us, uh, we are Kiwi Wanderers, and this is one of our tech tip videos. So feel free to subscribe. Hey, right, uh, when you're caravanning or RVing, or when you're in your motorhome, your life is centered around the four W's. Weight, Wi-Fi, waste, and water. And water is what we're all about on this video. So we have two 80 liter fresh water tanks in our van, and it's filled through the standard coast to coast filler. Now I've experimented with lots of ways of filling the van. The first development was screwing on a standard hose fitting and connecting a hose. I had limited success with this, and although the hose fitting screws on, you, you can't tighten it, as it's not a proper thread, and I had it fly off a couple of times, so I adapted a pressure reducer and a right angle fitting to make it more successful. But of course, that slowed the whole job down. So then uh, I changed to a Y type fitting, uh, which works okay, fills both tanks at the same time. But one tank always used to fill first, then you needed to pull it out and block it off and water was going everywhere. Oh yeah, not good. So when I saw this little update, I considered it a must have. So only took a few days for it to arrive from Aussie. Um, to fit it, didn't take me long. Simply a matter of getting to the back of the water door Ours is under the front lounge and it's a bit crowded under there. There's, as you can see, there's a heater and the outside shower piping and the water pump. So, yeah. So step one is to remove the vent hoses. For I just did this for better access. Then there's a simple hose clip. Then remove these hoses. The fittings turn about an eighth of a turn, counterclockwise, clockwise, I think. And then they pop out very easily. Uh, fitting the new fitting is uh, fitting in the new fitting is just the reverse of and obviously on um, yeah I put a small smear of silicon on them to make sure they don't leak. Then reassembled and we are good to go. I also purchased a couple of irrigation caps from Mitre 10 I think to seal these off. Um, but there's another simpler option is to put a self adhesive foam on the inside of the door. And as it closes, it seals it off. This has made such a difference to my refilling process as um, I just have a normal fitting on my water hose and filling is very straightforward. Fantastically simple mod that makes a lot of difference. Thanks, Kev Lomis. Um, and it's such a good idea that the latest Jacos have gone away from the coast-to-coast -coast style water filler and now have uh, standard hose fittings uh, like this mounted under the van. The only bad bit is that it's quite low on the van that I looked at and you you really do need to get down on your ground to fill with water and that's getting a bit harder at my age. The other bit of kit that has saved us uh, from not being able to fill with water is this universal adapter so you can fill it any tap even if the thread's worn out. Uh, they are a cheap thing, I think, from Mitre 10, and, and, and uh, yeah, just about guarantees you can get water out of any drinking tap. So, my kit from filling water has gone from a box full of fittings and hoses to a very simple setup. Um, yeah, great bit of kit, well worth the money, and uh, easy to fit. Filling with water has become so much easier with this. Okay, so lots of good stuff coming up, so please think about subscribing if you haven't already. We'll see you out there. Tonight we're running on the right track.